Hello and welcome to this week's technical. If you're new to the channel, these technical videos tend to be a bit shorter, a bit more in depth, and guess what? A bit more technical, as opposed to the weekend vlogs, which tend to be a bit longer and a bit more fun. These technical videos are typically aimed at farmers, vet students, or really anyone with a wider interest in animal agriculture or veterinary medicine. If you like what you see in here, don't be afraid to hit subscribe. And if you hit the little bell next to it, it means you'll get notifications when there is a new video. Otherwise, if you watch the video and you like it, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Last of all, don't be afraid to go and have a look through some of my previous videos. Hopefully we've been improving. This week, we're still on a cattle topic and I think it might surprise some of you. If you're seeing that title and thinking, hang on, why wouldn't anyone PD their suckler cows? I'm with you. However, it remains a fact that not everyone feels the same. Some producers still do not PD their cows. It's up to us to make the case for it. However obvious those arguments might be to those of us who are currently PDing anyway. For those of you who do PD their cows routinely, hopefully a majority, I'll include some tips on how to get the most from it. First of all, what do I mean by PDing? I'm using that as an abbreviation of pregnancy diagnosis, determining whether a cow is pregnant or not, whether she's in calf. If you're from North America, you've probably heard it as preg checking. I'm sure there are heaps of other terms used around the world. In any case, PDing can be manual, simply by feel, or it can be using an ultrasound scanner and often people will use a combination. So why bother? Number one, it's a projection of income. For suckler farmers, the calf is really the only product they generate all year. This is the reason fertility is the fundamental aspect of suckler cow enterprises that predicts profitability, not growth, not confirmation, fertility. I know farming isn't a regular occupation, but not many people would go to work for a year without knowing how much they were going to be paid. Second, it's a cost saving exercise. On most farms, the costs associated with PDing cows pales in comparison to the winter costs of keeping them. Now, the cost of production varies hugely from farm to farm. In the UK, generally, relative to the global average, our cost of production is high. One of the major factors, if not the major factor in that high cost of production are the costs of wintering cattle. That includes feeding, bedding, housing, machinery. Wintering empty cows is really an unnecessary expense and exercise. And as of this video, which is November 2021, the value of cull cows is high relative to the historical average. So it's cutting unnecessary costs and at the same time, there's a bit of a cash injection when you sell any empties. Remember, if your best cow is empty, she's not your best cow. Third, cows are often being handled around this time of year anyway, whether that be for treatments, body condition scoring, some sort of testing, whether that be TB, yonis, something similar, and for weaning. Not many of our farmers, if any, have to introduce an extra handling in order to PD these cows. They are almost always coming through the race anyway. Fourth, if there has been a disaster, you need to know about it sooner rather than later. Now that might be a bull going wrong, it might be a nutritional issue, it might be an outbreak of an infectious disease. In any case, you want to chase it up sooner rather than later. In the case of a poor set of results, remember the industry target is somewhere between 95 and 100% of cows in calf to a compact, and by that I mean nine to 12 week bulling period. Your vet is the best person to go to decipher these results, work out what's gone wrong. With you, they'll pull together information including nutrition, vaccination status, any particular age skew, and more. Now, to get the most out of PDing, and specifically ultrasound scanning, you want to get them PD'd at a certain age, and we're looking around about 30 to 150 days of pregnancy. 
A lot of our clients will be doing it later than that. The reason for that is they're waiting until these cattle are housed. That might be November, December, even January. By that point, spring calving cows are further than 150 days in calf. Why is it worth doing it at an earlier stage? Why is it worth perhaps that extra handling to bring them in from grass? There are two reasons. It will make finding twins easier. Accurate detection of twins will allow their proper management. I've actually attached an excerpt from a short article in the video description from the SACs on the hoof. Unfortunately, a common start to my spring is carving a dead set of twins. A set of twins the farmer might have intervened with earlier had they known they were twins. The second reason for scanning them at an earlier stage is that it facilitates aging. So why is it important to know the age of a pregnancy as opposed to simply a yes or no? It can come in useful when you're looking at how well the bull is performing, how many of these cows got in calf to the first, second, third cycles. If you've rotated bulls, it will make it easier to get an idea of which bulls have sired which calves. Cows that are due to calf later could also be managed separately, whether that involves housing them later and feeding them differently. This may enable you to save money, but also to avoid getting them over fat and hence have unnecessary calving difficulties. That being said, this level of scanning isn't necessarily a day one competency for vets. It's something personally I'm always trying to improve. Watch this space in the next few vlogs. And even in the most experienced hands, no scan result is necessarily 100%. Remember, pregnancies over 150 days become much harder to accurately detect twins and accurately age. Fetal sexing, I'll mention very briefly here, it's possible, again, you need to catch them in the right age window. We'll talk about that another time. So that's my piece on PDing. If you don't currently PD and you're not convinced yet, or if you PD but you want to know how to get more out of it, guess what? The best person to go and speak to is of course your vet. Other than that, thanks for watching. Since you made it this far, remember to hit the Holy Trinity subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. See you next time.